Okay, so we're going to show you how to make bamboo. Right now we have a oxyacetylene torch set up. Seven pounds of pressure for the acetylene, 11 pounds of pressure for the oxygen. We're going to bring that cone to a nice short blue cone. And then we're going to heat up one of these regions for our knuckle. It's going to take a little bit of time to get up to heat, but you want to keep rotating your bar stock the whole time. That way you get a nice uniform ring. And as you're forging, what you'll end up with is a uniform indentation around the perimeter. And that uniform indentation is what's going to allow us to upset that heated region later. So right now we're just trying to charge that core heat. We're doing this somewhere between 8 and 12 inches from the previous knuckle. We want it to glow orange hot, like so. Shut the torch off. And then bring your bamboo stock down. Open up the die, start forging. Here at Cherry Red Heat, it's too cold to forge and the steel won't move. If you go to orange heat, it's a little soft. So dark red to orange is a good heat to forge the pipe. And then there's enough core heat, it's glowing red, to auto ignite your torch for lighting. So you don't have to rely on the striker once your pipe is hot. And we're just going to reheat that section that we've necked down, okay? You want to cut that nice uniform groove and then use the fullering tool to really neck it in nice and tight. And if you're doing this on a longer section of pipe, the weight of the pipe matters and if you're rotating too slowly or too quickly, you'll find that it'll actually pull the bamboo section out of parallel. So, if that happens, just take the time to straighten it beforehand. If not, go back to forging. good neckline established right here we need to get the really upset again cherry red so hot enough to light the torch and you want to get just above that neckline the shoulder hot as well because you want that section to flare out Give the illusion of the knuckle of the bamboo forming before the interface between the two knuckles. So I'm getting just above and just behind the dome section where we've cut that neckline. And now, before you do the upsetting, just lay it over your anvil and make sure it's straight. And then you're going to take the bar stop and then.
And you'll notice if your knuckle bends like so, you just want to straighten it out again before you go back to upsetting. And once you get down to cherry red heat, you're just fighting yourself. So take the time to straighten it out. Put it back on your brick setup and light your torch again. Pipe's a tricky one where if you work it beyond cherry red, you get good shape, but it's really hard to work with. And if you take it beyond the orange heat, it tends to collapse before you can do anything. So you gotta walk that fine line between orange heat and cherry red, so you get the elastic behavior you want, but not to the point where it crumbles. In the neckline's sake, uh, case, we're trying to get it to crumple just a little. And then again, lay it over your anvil, straighten that bar out, rotate it to check, Bring your pipe, go back to upsetting. And don't be too worried if the bamboo's got some kinks in it. When bamboo grows naturally, if it's not in a tall forest, it's gonna have some kinks from where the sunlight got. You just wanna take the time to straighten your bar stock. And then we'll wire brush that real quick. So that's the knuckle that we're trying to look at here. And we'll switch to timelines.